Hey everybody, welcome back to Super Auto Pets. Apologies, a bit of uh, lack of variety on the channel at the moment. As I mentioned in the previous episode, and I've, you know, I've alluded to in messages, uh, I've had a pretty rough week with some chronic illness, and it's honestly continued. I'm probably a bit worse than I was yesterday even, hence why I'm recording this beyond when I would normally upload my YouTube video. Anyway, we're just going to play a little bit of weekly and see how long I last, basically. Now, the weekly, in case you forgot about it, kind of an interesting one. We've not really delved fully into the the little niche builds. There's definitely a scaling type build available. I've seen a lot of people running blowfish with pineapples on them. And I definitely think that is a potential build. If you can get an early blowfish and start stacking on frigate bird buffs and stuff like that, man, you could do some really disgusting things. Uh, but... There's potentially other little mini things. I don't think there's so much of a summon build, but there might be a buy-sell type build in here somewhere. I don't know. But I'm just going to let the wind take me somewhere until I get an idea of exactly what I want to do. Do I want a beetle? Beetle, very solid. But let me look for something a little bit more interesting. Getting a faint pet a plus one, plus one. What faint pets are coming into tier three? The beta fish. Hmm. 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 And what would be in tier two? It's the flamingo and the hedgehog. I'm just telling whether or not I want the duckling or do I want the opossum. I think the duckling is just a better all-round pet. But I think I'm going to grab the opossum possum so that I don't lose this round or I'm, I'm less likely to lose this round and we'll be the magical mammal I wish I were magic because I would have made whatever this condition is that I suffer with go away it really sucks I mean I, I basically got no sleep last night I was up till about half 7am then I got maybe two hours of sleep So I guess not non but not the appropriate amount as what a growing boy needs. I tell you what, the Frilled Dragon is an interesting suggestion game. Because there are a decent amount of faint pets. And conceivably this is something that could eat buffs and we'd be pretty content with it. And right now I've got two faint pets already. Okay. This is a direction. I don't think I'm going to freeze the other opossum. I'm probably going to sell this pretty goddamn soon, in fact. But I'd be surprised if we lost this right now. We're getting plus two, plus two on two of frilled lizards. That's going to make them three threes and four fours. And we're going to get a, a nice doggy out of this. Yeah, that's just backbreaking for them. They don't even see the doggy. And another frilled lizard. You know what? You know what? I might even... Hmm. Attacking ability deals three less damage. Uh, uh, ooh, e, uh, ooh, uh, uh, uh. Mm. I was considering making two different stacks of it. But you know what? Let's turn this into a 6-3. Throw you here. The blowfish is good. But I've got a different route right now. Interesting is what I'm going to say about this so far. I feel like we're going to be really strong right now, but we're going to have to pivot at some point. And it's going to be when we pivot is the important thing. Still a pretty strong build for them, actually. Unfortunately, it's only 9-9. Nine, nine. It's not a turn 3-9-9, nine, nine, so you're in trouble. Thrill me. An enemy summoned. Who is summoning shit at this stage of the game? There's honey in the, the pack. But is that it? Just honey? I 
I think it is. I don't think anything else summons something. Oh, the cricket is in there. But there's not really a big summon build. It's not the worst thing to grab, though, if we're going to grab something. I'm just trying do I want to take this upper tier. I don't think I do yet. I think I'll do it next round. And I'll forgo the fly catcher. And then for th three remaining gold. Give me some more horns. Okay, not going to get too much value for my front two units, but that doesn't matter. What matters is what we've got at the back, and that's two nine nines. Ironically, you did have summon pet. I guess the other summon pet I keep forgetting about is this golden retriever. So maybe that wouldn't have been an awful idea. Ooh. Okay. Whale me. How much do you get now? Three, three per faint pet. So you're a 15, 15 right now. That is what we in the business like to call disgusting. You know what? I'll try it. What if I take one of these and put a cherry on it? The cherry on top. Because now this is going to get summoned out of the whale. And then it's going to get another cherry on it. So we're going to get a huge dog, right? Hopefully, maybe. Eh, uh, that's ominous. No! Oh, well. Well, it's pretty painful as well. But now you live through an attack. And we still win. Wasn't ever in doubt. Okay, we'll tee you up as well. Gives me a crow. Uh, is there anything here that I don't necessarily need anymore? I mean, the seagull isn't doing much, but I've just invested six gold into it. The crow is a six gold investment for a chocolate. Let me freeze you and think about it. Hmm. I think I roll. I roll. And I think you might be here for a while. Honestly, so maybe the whale. Actually, let's give the whale some love. The whale is a unit that I normally regret purchasing eventually i just assume it's going to have some great super synergy and it never quite pops off but maybe it's because i just don't give it enough stats okay you have the same squad as me i'm scared however you put your giant unit at the front yeah the fly catch is going to get me okay fair enough I definitely should have picked that up when I had the opportunity to. We didn't, so be it. Pair it? I'm honestly considering getting rid of the squid and buying a crow and selling a crow immediately and running a four squad. It's not particularly good value for money. So one thing I'll say right now. Okay, that might be what I want as well. One thing I'll say right now. I'm kind of going away from the Frill Dragon, so maybe I should just ignore the Frill Dragon. If I, I think I should just ignore the Frill Dragon. I think there's no reason to have it in the squad anymore. Well, not quite no reason. We're approaching a point where there's no reason to have it. We only have one faint pet. So it's getting plus three, plus three. It's still a nine, nine. It's my second strongest unit. So we'll keep it in for a little bit longer. Uh, 
Okay, a few snipes go off. Big dog. And wins. Okay. Alright, let's do a big pivot turn. It's time. Whale me. I want to go in a different direction. Get rid of the frilled dragon. Buy, sell, buy. Six gold. I can't afford to buy the pair right now. Uh, on the whale, please. Uh, buy, sell, zebra. Please don't hit the manatee. I can live with this. And this only works one time, correct? It does only work one time. This now puts a... Oh, maybe I should have left that for a round. Oh, whatever. This leads me to a route of success. What is that route of success? Well, I can replace the gopher at some point, which isn't a fantastic unit. Maybe put the rooster there? No. I, I think where it gets us is eventually the albatross will pop. This is alarming for me. Or is it? No, it's pretty alarming, actually. We are going to tie. Which is very good, honestly, since we flipped the squad around a little bit. We took out one of his strong units. This seagull we need to level up. Honestly, the surgeon fish could be pretty good as well. To give some stats. And this thing's going to die, right? So I might as well sell it. But is this good enough? Or do I just prefer a giant dog? I might prefer a giant dog. Or a seal and just feed it. Now, the problem with the seal, obviously, is that it's not particularly great scaling, so we need to tear up the seal as quickly as it's humanly possible. And I've kind of locked my squad in place as well as the other downside right now. I could just get rid of the rooster. It's not an absolutely essential creature, but with the plan with the seagull, it kind of is. Well, it's not. I don't know. I, I, I simply don't know. The, the ideal is that I get three chickens out of the rooster and they all get the cherry buff. And we just generate this huge golden retriever. How good's that going to be? I don't know. Interesting ostrich strat. Interesting. Okay. They just had a big squad there. It's fair enough. Sell game three gold. No, 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 no. This is not fast enough. My scaling is too slow and I don't think the eventual build is going to work. But hey. Okay, they're trying something similar. The vultures are an interesting shout as well. Right, you snipe that unit, but it's fine. Because we have a giant dog. Is popcorn better than the cherry? Hmm, probably. I think this is a better play. If we're going to do this, I need the seal to get to tier 3 as quickly as possible. The, the rooster's doing absolutely nothing right now. That's the thing that's killing me. Yeah, the 50-36 is going to be a huge issue. Just keep throwing units at it. Throw your bodies at the dog! We do kill it eventually, though. 
Unfortunately, my... Oh. I tell you what, one more attack. One more horn. I think we tie. I hate to do this, but... I'm going to do it. Five, three, four, one. That poodle could do wonders as well, but I think it's too late. I don't think I want to eat the walrus. Let's be frank, this build is just not good enough for this stage of the game. Because if I eat the walrus, I'm going to put peanuts on people. Sure, that's great. But I just want to try and make a big dog. It does look like another one of those weeklies where scaling was just the be-all and end-all. And again, one more health, we tie. That's two in a row now that we've lost, where one more stat makes a huge difference. Eventually, I want to tee up the seagull. The seal is the most important thing. One more level in the seal and we could do something. Ah, uh, okay, that's a level three woodpecker. With pineapple, rough. Are they me but stronger? Oh my god, they got the beta fish as well. And it hit the best unit. Come on. Come on. All right. That's fine. We were just trying some things out there. Uh, Apostomy, duckling me. And give me another duckling. And we'll be the Lord of the Boogeymen. I don't think I've ever seen the Lord of the title before in this game. What a great title. Uh, I'd be trying to lose this, by the way. Although, fortunately, we're going to tie. No, we're going to lose it. I forgot about the the horn. Okay. Beetle me. Yeah, the, the thing is, Otter, you don't really do it for me right now. And I don't really want to put the honey on you. Hmm. Well, I, I, I'm going to put the honey on you, sorry, just to be more clear. But I don't get a benefit off it because I don't want the frilled lizard. Not a great opening. As long as we don't lose this one, though, I can live with it. We are going to lose it. All right, we need a power spike. A good faint pet, please. I wouldn't say it was a good faint pet, but it is a faint pet. Right. Okay. Okay, game. I'm sorry to do this to you, honey. I'm all in on the squid game. Take 50% health of the most healthy friend. Crab, get in here. I don't think I want any of this. And you know what? A shrimp could hit the spot. And so could a salamander. A little bit of a weird one. The 7-9 squid kind of has to carry me. Or we just lose. So you've chosen defeat. That's awful. Oh, come on. Okay. We need to turn this around rapidly. Okay. Goodbye to the... I kind of want to get rid of the beetle, honestly. Give me a shrimp. I 
I know what you're thinking. This is stupid. You're right. It is stupid. But who knows where this will go? Maybe... Maybe this could work. Or I'm lost in the source. One of the two. Holy shit, that beetle like took my entire squad out. The dog. The dog. Uh, start the battle, please. Yes, yeah, start the battle. Okay. Beetle, goodbye. Hello to the woodpecker. Nothing else to start a battle. I do need to put a cherry on something to get the squid to pop. I should probably move the squid forwards. You're right. I had it in a stupid place. Now, am I going to sell anything right now? Maybe the shrimp has no use. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm just a little bit dumb. Okay. That doesn't proc right now. I think we put a meat on the crab. What's the plan here? Uh, there isn't one. I'm trying to make the salamander big. While at the same time trying to play behind the strength of my strongest unit, which is this one. <laughs> Come on. I don't think the salamander is a good choice for this pack, though. It's just not doing anything. Well, I can at least tear up here. That is not what I wanted right now. All right. Well, this... Might be the goose egg. Because we are not strong at all right now. Holy moly, we avoided a goose egg. I can live with that. If we go one all out, fine. What is the game plan here? There isn't one. I eat the woodpecker. I eat the crab. And then put... A cherry on the crab. I sell the crab. And buy a gazelle. And put a cherry on the gazelle. I don't know. <laughs> Frankly, everything was appalling there. Wow, a 2-3. We somehow win this. Also, the, the squid should not be at the back. You, you know this by now. Oh, but I can't organize the squad any other way. The woodpeck has to go then, right? Or the squid can go. Or the salamander can go. Actually, there's a lot of choices here. Almost every single pet can just go here. That's anti-synergistic, perfect. What are we rolling for? Oh, you scumbag. You scumbag. 
Well, goodbye, woodpecker. I don't know. It'll be a miracle if we live this round. Well, this could be a miracle, honestly. They have oddly got a very similar build to me. Which fills me with hope. Alright, the salamander that I've built my run around just got one shot. That's pain. That's just pain. Alright. We'll run one more back, quickly. I was only going to do two because I said I'm a little bit under the weather. Maybe we just go back to basics. What's the basics? Just fucking buy big beefy units and just scale them out of control and it doesn't matter then. Whatever you pick, right? We'll be with the perplexed plant. Perplexed fanboy, that's how I feel right now. Sometimes the weekly isn't for invention. And I think this might be one of them. It's Occam's race, right? Sometimes the most obvious answer is the correct one. What is the most obvious answer? Just scale. Just scale. Pain. Ah, uh, I think we'd want one of each of these to get buffed. I don't mind that we're running a four squad right now to guarantee that we got the buff on a unit that would have made sense to take a buff on. And we are going to lose it, sadly. But we're getting the health back. Give me another shrimp. I think we gave the shrimp a bad look then. I don't think it's a bad pet. I could buy and sell a pig for... One gold to get one stat. Would I trade one gold for just one health? Mm. If I had nothing better to do on the turn, maybe. I might actually have nothing better to do on the turn, so you know what? Okay. We can put you to the back right now because I don't need you to get the buff off the pill bug. We didn't get a... Well, we got a trip, I suppose, now. The question now is, do I spend it next round to get a tier 3 pet? Or do I wait for a tier 4? I'd probably say we'd wait for a tier 4 now. Okay, can I get through the 5-4? Uh, I can, but at the cost of a draw, which I'm okay with. Huge pill book. Hmm. Okay. Change the plans. We're not waiting anymore. We're just going. You are a decent pet. I think we say goodbye to the shrimp. I think the woodpecker. We've seen it in so many builds right now. Putting a pineapple on this bad boy is just so strong. Pillbug is probably not much longer for this world. I'm actually considering doing this as well. This, I suppose. Maybe I don't get the beta fish to buff even. Just give it to these two? Or I give it to the woodpecker and just accept the pillbug's going to eat a hit off the woodpecker. But the cost is... Sorry, the, the reward from it is I get a stat and it's going to matter later. You know what? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. And I think I'm going to keep the altar rolling for a little bit. So I didn't expect to lose this round. That's a huge trade for Estelle. We kind of almost got a cake and ate it then. We lost, but 
I think we might have lost regardless. Right, well done, Pillbug. You've done your work. If I don't want to use the Pillbug for much longer, we should take it out. Yes, please. All right. Freeze it, and we're looking for something we could buy. I could even justify selling a pet right now to start getting this buffalo popping. I don't think I'm going to, but... Just throwing it out there. And I should probably... Well, I was saying maybe I should freeze a cucumber. I don't know. There's only two pets in the squad, I think, now are, like, set in the squad for a while. The Buffalo. And the, uh... The Woodpecker. Too late for Puppy. I'm going to freeze and do it next round. I think that is... Well, well worth it. And I will croissant the water buffalo. Or just a buffalo, even. Otherwise, I'm kind of wasting the three gold. I could have meated it as well. And I think I would have been okay with it. Interesting. They had the squid in it, but no way of gaining horns. Maybe they sold a cherry unit or something. Either way, I'll take it. Ooh. Two tier fives. Roll, gain a gold. Gives you more, like, options, I suppose is the word I'm trying to stumble towards. All right. I'll do it. Give me Hamter. The Vulture's pretty solid, honestly, but I, I don't really want to go into a a summoning build of any variety. So I'm not going to take it. And I get two free rerolls, right? And then one more. And we kind of got diddly squat from it. But you know what? I'll throw a cherry on you. It's basically a 2-2 dog, right? Very similar to the cookie, but unlike the cookie, which will go away after this turn, that could survive for a few rounds. Pretty unlucky not to snipe out the, the blowfish there. Don Don 2 has been cooking something, and I respect it. And we're going to tie Eating a, a blowfish is an interesting choice. Right, this has to be done. Get two free rerolls. Beat a fish, honestly, I'm not interested in you. I think you're next on the list of things to go. I might even just take three rerolls this turn. Or are we throwing a porcupine for ultimate tennis action? That could be funny. I'll take three rerolls. Buy me, sell me, pet? Yes, please. I'm honestly considering the crow for a bit of chocolate, but I think that's a bit late as well. Yes, absolutely. And yeah, sure. The penguin would be pretty good. Honestly, I'm considering selling shit for the penguin right now, but... I don't think I'm in that situation just yet. Okay, Woodpecker. He's going to take out one unit at least. He took out two. Oh god, one more attack again. It's been the story of this episode, just missing out by... Very small margins. Okay. What unit is going? It's probably you, right? 
Big changes. Seal is a, another interesting one. It's a scaler. I want to push my advantage more. A buffalo would be huge. A poodle's also pretty goddamn big, I think. Four, five, four, three. Not as good as I thought it was. In fact, there's a little bit of anti synergy here. Reindeer, you intrigue me. We'll run a four squad. We're getting the buffs on the units I want to have the buffs on. I have space for the buffalo. Also a four squad. Snap, we have very similar squads. We're going to tie. Right. Buy it? I'm going to sell the hamster as well, I think. You know what? Get, let's use the two rerolls now. Right, goodbye. And I think I want you in the squad now. And I want you receiving buffs as soon as I can. I think this is a solid investment. The altar can just be sold again. And I'm happy with that. It was six gold for... Well, it wasn't six gold for two two of stats. Because the, the buffalo also got the two two. So it was like six gold for four stats. Ah, not fantastic, but not dreadful. Huge melon. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Reindeer me? Penguin me? I think I roll one time rather than get the soft surf ice cream. Because I would justifiably sell the otter and I'll buy a poodle, even just for a round. It might not hit the buffalo with the stat. Actually, the poodle's not that bad anymore. The poodle's pretty good now that I've got a reindeer. Maybe I just leave this. We give up on the buy me, sell me. The buffalo is not there yet, but he's getting close. Oh, I like the idea of your build, by the way. It's a pity my woodpecker just destroyed it instantaneously. Do I lock this one in? Or does the poodle go? Because currently the Poodle is giving 3-3 three, three of buffs. The Zebra is 4-4, four, four, but it costs 3 gold. This costs nothing. I think we lock it in. This is pretty stinky. Is what I'll say. Huge. Huge. Hugest. Alright, there's some great stuff coming. The penguin tear up, the reindeer tear up. And we can start throwing some stuff into the poodle as well, even. That's gonna hurt. Holy mother of god. They they're mad. They tigered. They tigered their woodpecker. And it's tier three. And it had pineapple on it. That was disgusting. Uh, a walrus. And an oyster. Mm. Not particularly interested in either of them. That's another thing I don't normally like doing. Just throwing on a chocolate onto a unit that's not about to tear up. But it's the most important thing I think I, I can have teared up now. 
So I'm pretty happy to throw it on there. If we get a poodle in the future, great. Also increase my chance of getting another chocolate in the future. That's a s very thick squad. We're gonna win. Holy. Okay. Carrot the penguin. Everything's now scaling. So I'm literally just looking for stuff like this and soft serves and chocolates. And I guess turkey legs and pears. Anything I can just throw as a buff on for a round, that's what we want. Ooh, what have you eaten? That's going to be the big question here. What is in your tummy? Okay. <laughs> sure. That does nothing. A little chicken leg. Best unit right now to buff is the reindeer. Without a shadow of a doubt. Buffalo is now on a 50 attack. We should take the croissant off it. I completely forgot about that. We might want to throw on... I don't even know what we want to throw onto that bad boy. I don't feel like chili's super hot right now for this. I, I know. Literally, yes, it is hot, but for this pack, no. Okay, we got a bit unlucky there. Just a little bit unlucky. But yeah, I don't think chili does great work for us. It might actually be the, the popcorn. That might be the best thing I can have. I don't think the woodpecker moves the needle that much for me, but I'll freeze it. Oh, that moves the needle, potentially. That is a needle mover. Possibly better than the poodle, but since I'm only on one life as well. That piece of chocolate, sorry. I want to just try and win this round. It just getting melon three times could be huge. It could not be. It, it just depends, right? All right. Interesting. That's actually going to be pretty big for me. <laughs> That's so unlucky. I still think we would have won regardless, but... It's funny that I got an ostrich out of that, and it was at the back. Like, you fool. You've played right into my trap. Eh. So he's good enough for a round. And now I've taken this reindeer into a situation where he won't just get one shot by a... A 50 attack unit anymore with melon. Unless... Unless... It has a peanut on it. A it doesn't, because... They have no way of getting peanuts. They are just a big squad. Look at the reindeer carry. It is disgusting. Uh, that, that doesn't do anything for me anymore. I shouldn't buff you. I really would love a piece of chocolate. But you can keep getting some buffs. Huge. I mean, this is about as strong as you can hope for. With the exception of, like, the penguin. Who's pretty sturdy. Okay, you have a 50-50. I'm scared. We live a hit. We live a hit. You go forwards. I live through a hit. I kill you. I kill you. Oh my god, this was so close. We win because of the popcorn. I mean, the only thing I can do now to benefit myself is get the woodpecker, the poodle, and the penguin to get up. That's literally all that moves the needle for me now. And even then, it's pretty minor. Ooh. 
Possible shot to get rid of the pineapple as well. Maybe it's better to have popcorn or something now. But who can argue with what I just did then? Great work. It, it's as simple as that. Just grab scaling units. Grab a penguin, grab a poodle. Ten wins in your back pocket. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, apologies that I've been... Like, just under the weather, really. I, I say apologies. I can't help it. If I'm under the weather, I'm under the weather. If I feel like, you know, I'm going to throw up continuously. My stomach is rumbling. What What do you want me to do? Sit here and, you know, wretch? I, I don't want to do that. But yeah, apologies that my schedule basically went out the window immediately. Also, apologies to that... Uh, I've only recorded two Super Auto Pets while I've been unwell. It is just a simple game for me to uh, record and upload. If I feel ill, I can just pause it, and I don't really lose anything. It's not like Resident Evil or something, or one of the deck builders where I, I have to remember where I was. With this, it kind of just plays itself, right? The clues in the name. It's super, right? <laughs> well, yeah, hopefully this settles down and we'll go back to a normal schedule again. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.